सो इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोन टू क्रिएट अ वॉटर मटीरियल इन साइड अनरियल इंजिन फाइव दिस इज गोन बी अ वेरी बेसिक बिगिनर लेवल वीडियो सो आई एम गोन एक्सप्लेन एवरी थिंग एंड बाय द एंड ऑफ द वीडियो यू गोन हैव दिस वॉटर मटीरियल बिफोर आई स्टार्ट विद द वीडियो आई वुड लाइक टू गिव अज शाउट आउट टू ऑल द मेम्बर्स एंड द पेट्रॉन्स सो थैंक यू सो मच फॉर योर सपोर्ट इट रियली मीन्स अ लॉट ऑल्सो यू कैन गेट दिस वॉटर शेडर ऑन माई पेट्रियॉन so if you want that i will leave a link down in the description okay so i have set up a sample project right here so let's start by adding a plane so we are going to add the water material onto this plane so let's create our water shader so you can right click in the content browser and then you can add a material you can click the material and drag it onto the plane to apply the material and now simply double click to open this material now here firstly you need to select the material output node right here and after that you need to go right here and change the shading model to single layer water now this is a special shading model used to create a uh, water materials so we are going to use the single layer water shading model after changing the shading model it will give you a warning So right click and we need to add this node. This is called the single layer water material output node. This will give you all the special functionality for creating a water. Now let's define some of these PBR properties. So I'm going to create a scalar parameter and I'm going to connect that into the base color and the opacity. So we have zero base color and zero opacity. Next I'm going to create another scalar parameter and you can change the value to 1. I'm going to connect that to the specularity and the refraction. So now that we are done defining all the PBR properties, let's take a look at the single layer water material node. So in this node we have four different properties. So in this video we are only going to use the absorption coefficients. So this is basically the absorption color So we need a vector right here so I'm going to right click and create a vector for and this is a color so I'm going to add a multiply to like increase the strength of this and from the multiply you can add a scalar parameter so this scalar parameter is basically the multiplier I'm going to call it water darkness I'm going to set this to a value of 10 After that from the multiply you can add a divide node and we are going to divide this by 100 we are dividing this by 100 because we need a very small value for the absorption coefficients so like this is a very small float value we are going to connect that into the absorption coefficients and in the material output you can see that we have something like we have a translucent material After that you can change the color to a red color. Now this is the color that is going to be absorbed by the water shader. After that you could increase the water darkness to about 20. So just save this and if you go back in the viewport you will see that we have something that looks like water. So our water looks good but we are lacking that animation. This is currently very static. So we are going to use a normal map for this. You can download this normal map for free. So I'll leave a link down in the description. So you just need to add this normal map right here and connect it into the normal slot. If you go back into the viewport, you can see that our water has a lot of detail. So we have some detail in the water. This looks pretty good. Now let's animate the water. So for animation, so we are going to use something called a panner node. So for the coordinate, I'm going to add a texture coordinate. So you can just search for that. So the texture coordinate will help you to like tile this texture. So you can tile this five times on the U and the V. So you can change the UV scale using this. After that let's add a time input node. After 
After that, let's add a scalar parameter for the speed. So I am going to change this to about 0.1. And if you go back in the viewport, you can see that our waves are moving. It is always a good practice to create a material instance from your master materials. You can apply the material instance to the plane and the material instance allows you to like change these values. So this was a quick and easy way to create a water shader inside Unreal Engine 5. So I hope you like this video. Again, you can download the finished project file on my Patreon. If you learned something, leave a like down below, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. And that's it, I'm gonna see you in the next video.